青年领先计划，是由北京师范大学桂林文化基金资助，中国文化国际传播研究院主办的文化体验活动。自二零一一年夏令开展以来，已经连续举办七届，组织来自美国、英国、法国、加拿大、以色列等四十八国四百零五名青年，落地中国二十三省市自治区。在当地师生的支持与协助下，出色完成四百零四部短片，共获五十余项国际奖。Hi guys, please come here to have the group photo.
Girls in the left, please come here. We have the first row. Hi guys, not here.
近呢，各位参赞、使领馆的嘉宾、外国朋友们，尊敬的各位合德院校的领导、老师们，亲爱的各位来宾和青年朋友们，大家上午好！欢迎大家呢来到北师大，共同见证。同时呢，对二零一八看中国优秀作品、个人和团体进行表彰。首先，请允许我介绍今天莅临现场的各位来宾朋友。由于在来宾的比较多啊，如果念完以后呢，大家一定鼓掌欢迎。莅临现场的嘉宾有：北京师范大学副校长周栋教授，北京师范大学资深教授。中国文化国际传播研究院院长、汇编文化基金创始人曹鹤林先生，研究院的顾问团队有全国政协常委、文史和学习委员会副主任、中国中共党史学会常务副会长刘新民先生，北京师范大学原常委书记、中国高等教育学会副会长刘刘山教授。中国宋庆龄基金会原党组书记兼常务副主席齐明秋先生，中国文联副主席郭运德先生。与会的副委嘉宾有：中华文化促进会于宝华副主席，中华文化促进会冯学东副秘书长，文化部中外文化交流中心影视处张新处长，中宣部对外推广。会的使领馆嘉宾有阿根廷驻华使馆文化参赞萨托萨托尔先生，阿根廷驻华使馆文化处中立徐颖女士，伊朗驻华使馆文化参赞阿巴斯先生，伊朗驻华使馆文化副参赞阿戴尔先生，墨西哥驻华使馆文化新闻专员劳拉米。西西班牙驻华使馆文化处行政专员桑德拉先生，意大利使馆文化专员梅里先生，新加坡驻华大使馆教育处一等秘书刘百生先生，瑞士驻华使馆文化媒体处副处长浩明先生，还有北京师范大学中国文化国际传播研究院副院长罗军先生。研究院的执行理事有：北京师范大学京师特聘教授、中国文化艺术基金会副理事长兼秘书长、中国文文艺评论家协会副主席张云居先生。研究院的理事有：北京师北北京体育大学党委常委常委常委、中国电影海外推广。中国中国基金会基金会理事长兼秘书长蒋杰明先生，北京师范大学中国文化创新与文化传播工程研究院院长于丹教授，研究院的学术委员会的成员有，教育部长江学者特聘教授，北京师范大学艺术与传媒学院院长胡志峰先生先生，北京电影学院黄石健黄石健先生教授，中国。师范大学艺术与传媒学院副院长王一文教授，研究院的创作委员会成员有：国家电影审审查委委员、中国电影文学学会副会长赵宝华先生，北京雅迪文化总裁周燕女士。研究院的各个研究员有：北京师范大学。Professor Tang Zhang, Guangming Daily, Deputy Editor-in-Chief, Ms. Li Chuanli, Beijing Normal University, Fine Arts Academy, Vice Dean Li Daoxing, Beijing Normal University, Cultural and Communication Academy, Professor Liang Jing, Technology Academy, Research Fellow Se Ying, Beijing Foreign Affairs Academy.
Professor Su Hao and the Beijing Film and Communication Academy, Professor Yang Chenghu. And 2018, Looking China Youth Film Project teacher students include Suzhou University Professor Ni Xiangbao, Professor Xue Zheng from the Central China Science and Technology University, Professor Peng Tao, Professor Lin Jian, Beijing Normal University Zhu Hai Campus, Professor Li Huaizhi, Professor Ma Xiao. Liaoning Normal University Professor Chen Chen, Beijing Normal University Professor Fan Qipeng, Southwest China University Professor Deng Yongli, Guizhou University Professor Li Yue, Inner Mongolia Ardos New Media Center Professor Li Guanyi, Professor Wu Zhuoqing, Hebei University Professor Dang Dingyang, and also other partners include CCTV, the French Channel Editor in Chief Ms. Song Jianing, the Youth Record Producer Documentary Ms. Qing Lei, Wuzhou Film Production Center Director Ms. Wang Yuanyuan, Binghai International Microfilm Festival Secretary General Mr. Jiang Yi, Shanghai Coco Co Brand Management Co Limited President Mr. Rong Han, and also other. We have the deputy, uh, Ms. Li Shenlan, the Foundation Deputy Secretary General, Yu Xiaolei, Secretary of the Youth League International Department, uh, Ding Liu Ming, uh, Mr. Lin Mei Xian, and from uh, Professor Li Huixia, and also from the Academy of Cultural Communication, Wang Zhuo Kai, Deputy Secretary General. And also we have uh, many other guests who are going to uh, Zhuhai, Chongqing, and uh, their teachers are from it for Italy group from Machilata Francisca Professor and from Argentina Bruce Noiris the international supervisor of uh, University of Delsing Professor Augustine and also Professor Tobias Free Morgan from International Supervisor of Professor of University at of Lucifana Portugal. Thank you so much for being with us today. Let's give a big hand to all of you. Okay, our next session will be some uh, keynote speech. Uh, Professor Zhou Zuoyu, the Vice President of Beijing Normal University, will make an opening speech. Distinguished guests, dear teachers and students, good morning. So today we gather in this beautiful Beijing to celebrate the launching ceremony of uh, Looking China Youth Film Project in 2019 and the fifth Looking China Golden Lenses Award Ceremony. So first of all, on behalf of Beijing Normal University, I'd like to extend my sincere welcome to all the guests of foreign embassies and the consulates who attended the ceremony, as well as the Chinese and foreign youth who have come from afar. And also, at the same time, I'd like to express my heartfelt congratulations to the Chinese and the foreign youth who won the fifth Golden, Mast Golden Lenses Award. And also, thank you so much for years of consistent support to my university. Looking China is a cross-cultural experience project sponsored by Beijing Normal University Huilin Cultural Foundation and China Institute of International Cultural Communication. And this year, it is the ninth session. And the project has gained much attraction at home and abroad. President Xi Jinping of China has recently paid a state visit to Italy, Monaco, and France recently which injected new impetus to the development of China-EU relations in this new era and opened up the new space for building a One Belt and One Road initiative. As far as I know, the foreign youth who participated in the Looking China Youth program actually come from these countries. I believe that your wonderful magical journey in China will surely become 
a memorable uh, moment for your life, and also the works you have poured your heart and mind into will surely bring the whole world a unique perspective to understanding the Chinese culture. So this year, our annual theme is three times, basically the moment, the season, and time itself, which is a very valuable and a minimal, meaningful thing. And this year marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of New China. Over the last seven decades, the Chinese people have written a new chapter in our times for the development of a country and a nation with our hard work. The Chinese people attach great importance to the change of time and concept of time. For example, our traditional 24 solar terms listed in the list of world-class tangible cultural heritage. Are the encapsulation of the wisdom of the ancient Chinese people, who constantly sought, recognized, and summarized in their long-term practice about our time and the change of seasons. They are also the poetic representation of the Chinese way of life. They embody the Chinese philosophical thoughts and contain the cosmic outlook of the Chinese civilization and the core values. President Xi Jinping once said that the civilizations are colorful because of exchanges among them, and they get richer because of their mutual learning. Exchanges and the mutual learning among civilizations can drive and promote the progress of human civilization and the peaceful development of the world. We have to respect the diversity of civilizations and promote exchanges, dialogues among civilizations, peaceful existence, and harmonious existence. Only in this way can we can the whole world be more colorful and richer and be full of vitality, which is actually the motto of my university. Beijing Normal University is an internationally renowned higher university with 117 years of history. At the present,、uh, at the present,、uh, we are in the process of establishing world-class universities with the first-class disciplines. We welcome all the you, young people from all over the world to come to my university to bring multicultural clashes and collisions with our own students. I hope that you will continue to keep in touch with us when you go back home and be the young ambassadors for cultural exchanges and dissemination, bringing Chinese cultures to all corners of the world and introduce excellent cultures from all over the world to China, so as to enhance the mutual understanding between the Chinese people and the people of the world and the development of friendly relations between China and other countries. Ladies and gentlemen, and friends. The image and the video can make our life better and add luster to China with a long history. We do hope that the Chinese foreign friends will take this opportunity of the Looking China Youth Program to inspire yourself, inspire your own thoughts, and inspire other people's thoughts, so that you can turn a new page for the prosperity and the development of cultural exchanges between China and the foreign countries. So finally, I wish this year's Looking China Youth Film Project. And the fifth Looking China Golden Lenses Award ceremony, a complete success. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Zhou Zuoyu. Now I'd like to invite the next speaker, Professor Huang Huiling. The founder of Huiling Foundation, the dean of the Academy for International Communication of Chinese Culture, and Professor Emeritus, Beijing Normal University, to make a opening remark. Distinguished guests, my. Dear teachers and students, good morning. It's such a pleasant thing to see friends coming from afar. So welcome to the Looking China Youth Film Project launching ceremony. The Looking China project started in two thousand and eleven, and in twenty nineteen it is the ninth session. Next year we will celebrate the ten year anniversary of this project. As of 2018, Looking China invited 508 foreign youth from 55 countries, and they went to 
24 provinces, municipalities, and autonomous regions in China, and with the help of local teachers and students, they carried out cultural experience and video creation work, completing 507 short films and acquired 100 international awards of all kinds. So your arrival marks the beginning of the 2019 Looking China Youth Film Project. As of today, the 2019 Looking China Project has invited 100 foreign youth from 40 universities from 45 countries. And they will go to 10 provinces and cities in China. From this afternoon, three teams will go to, in parallel, to Sichuan province, Zhuhai city, and the Chongqing city. I wish, all, I wish you all the best in your journey. And I wish the 2019 Looking China project uh, great success. And today you can see that on both sides, we have... Uh, uh, students who wear in red, which is like uh, the very happiness color in China, marking the good luck. And for every team, we have a international supervisor, professor, to lead the team. And uh, of course, we have the Chinese teachers and students who will help them to finish their project. So every year you see something different, but every year we uh, welcome different groups of students. Every year we have different themes. And every time we have different participants. This year our theme, as uh, Professor Zhou Zhuoyu mentioned, is all about time. Basically moment, season, and time itself. So the three time concepts they have the same Chinese characters in all of them. It's full of hope. We hope to encourage you to observe time and put the Chinese stories and changes in China in the context of time. We often say that China is developing so fast. The country is picturesque. It's full of stories, full of changes, changing stories and evolutions. So we expect our foreign youth can use your unique perspective to tell these interesting Chinese stories in the context of time. Since 2014, Looking China has established the Golden Lens Award so that uh, to increase our international influence. In 2017, we, every year we would select uh, several Golden Lenses Award winners to come back to China to refilm, basically to encourage them to create even better works. And in 2019, the organizer committee carefully selected and finally invited three winners of the Golden Lenses Award winners to come back to China again. I hope all of you can work really hard so that you can win golden lenses or even more international film awards. So that uh, if you are a winner, you will be able to come back to China again. And the fifth Looking China Golden Lenses Award has already been announced. And uh, later, they will be introduced uh, by my colleagues, Professor Xiong Yingju, but I here want to take this opportunity to say congratulations to all the winners of last year's Golden Lenses Award. Since the establishment of my research institute, it is also in this ninth year. We started with only 10 research fellows, and we organized nine sessions of Looking China Project, and we published nine books, nine bilingual books on Looking China Project. And also, we published uh, nine volumes of Third Pole Culture magazine on the Chong Chong and the Seven Silver Book compendiums, and published uh, 16 ICC's English academic journals. We held uh, five sessions of uh, Huilin cultural expositions, and we undertook a major national social science project. 
In order to support Loki in China project, our working team and volunteers have carefully prepared for and made overseas a cooperative partnership with the foreign universities and organizers and partners. And across the China, you know, we have many local supportive universities and partners. We're putting a lot of manpower and resources into this. I really want to encourage all the foreign teachers and students to cherish this opportunity. Work hard and work closely with your Chinese local teachers and students to complete this project. My dear friends, looking China project emphasize on the cultural experience of foreign youth in China. We want to give you the opportunity to experience China for the first hand. We hope that you use your lenses to observe and feel life in China, to discover and uncover and tell the Chinese stories, from your plane pickup to farewell, from being estranged to acquainted, from cooperation to win-win. Every documentary. Has recorded more stories other than the beautiful stories shooting in the scene, and we have made friends with strangers. And when we were seeing each other off, and、uh, we're holding each other and cry, and those are the experiences. You may feel excited, curious, and you make. A lot of efforts, and you may have confusions or even disputes. It is hoped that the participants of Look in China can play out the spirit of、uh, developing to forge new developments and、uh, helping each other to promote the development and to build the bridge of a friendship full of vitality and hope. Among the youth from both home and abroad, dear friends, it is、uh, April with、uh, beautiful blossoms. In China, we always say that all things grow together without harming each other, and、uh, everything has its own development without going against each other. Even if we are from different national countries with a different culture. And customs. It is hoped that with Look in China, we can jointly develop. And last but not least, I'd like to extend my special thanks to all the media who had followed this event, and we'd like to acknowledge the Education Foundation of、uh, Beijing Normal University. And wish everybody good health and、uh, good luck. Thank you. Next, we especially encourage the outstanding works, individuals, and teams for each Golden Lenses project, and also try to expand the impact of Look in China for the Gold Lenses Golden Lenses Award with、uh, the. Preliminary and intermediary and、uh, finals. We have、uh, selected the winners, and、uh, we have a lot of important judges. Just now, we have、uh, played the names of uh, the uh, panel of judges. And the next slide to invite to the floor the representative of、uh, the 
panel of judges for final. The professor of Beijing Normal University, vice chairman and secretary general of uh, China Literature and Art Foundation, Mr. Xiang Yuju, to represent the board of panels, uh, the panel of board uh, of uh, judges to present. Distinguished guests, leaders, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Entrusted by Ms. Huang Guilin on behalf of the panel of judges of the Golden Lenses Award, I'd like to report to you the situation of the award. The Golden Lenses is an important design of China, Look in China, foreign youth film project. The Look in China by the foreign youth they need visions. Therefore, the Golden Lenses Award will especially acknowledge those outstanding works with a unique vision and a deep insight. In 2018, Look in China had invited more than 100 foreign youth from 42 schools of education institutions of 35 countries from different continents of the world, including Italy, uh, Hungary, Spain, Russia, Switzerland, Iran, Israel, Singapore, Bulgaria, Pakistan, India, Brazil, South Africa, Indonesia, Lebanon, Canada, Australia, US, UK, Greece, Denmark, Argentina, Mexico, and France. Just now I've mentioned uh, just part of the countries. But those are the countries with the representatives from the embassies. So we'd like to especially extend our appreciation to them. And this youth had traveled across Beijing, Guangdong, Chongqing, Liaoning, Hubei, Jiangsu, Guizhou, Qinghai, Hebei into Mongolia to shoot films. And for Look in China each year, we focused on one topic. The topic in 2018 was ecology, uh, biology, and life. Around that topic, the foreign youth, with the guidance, uh, instructions of uh, the uh, Chinese and the foreign teachers and uh, the faculty and students and volunteers from more than 10 universities in China. They have completed more than 100 works. According to the charter of uh, the award, the panel of judges have uh, conducted uh, the preliminary and the final judging. And uh, we have uh, the domestic over experts for the 2008 Golden Lenses panel of judges, the R. Mr. Huang Huilin, the founder of Looking China, professor of Beijing Normal University, and uh, the president of uh, AICCC. And also, we have uh, the professor Amlesh Klabade from India, the president of uh, the Senior Film Technology Academy of Ecuador, Mr. Camilo. Luzuli Gaya Yaga and um, Professor Gaofeng from Beijing Normal University and uh, Professor Yan Lon from Australia and also Mr. Sun Hai Dong from uh, the China Publicity Department and also Mr. Xiang Yunju Professor from Beijing Normal University and uh, Professor Yu Hong from uh, AICCC visiting researcher and uh, Mr. Zhang Xin from the Ministry of uh, Culture. And uh, the Golden Lenses Award is to encourage the works with a unique culture discovery and uh, outstanding artistic expression. We have uh, the first award, second award, and third award, and also we have a different individual awards, including the best culture discovery, the best artistic expression, best internet communication, and the best organization, and a special award. Ladies and gentlemen, ever since ancient times, the worlds were looking at China. Looking China is actually 
a natural product in the globalization, or in other words, itself promoted the globalization. The core value of a Look in China project is to promote the people-to-people -people connections. The life of the Chinese people and the profound thinking in their life, the long history and rich culture and the sincere emotions could be the unexhausted resources for the Look in China foreign as a youth. The core essence of Look in China project is the looking of a foreign youth and the Look in China will be integrated with the curiosity and the looking will have impact on their future actions and their attitude towards China in the future. And the core philosophy of the Look in China project is to experience, to be emotional, direct, interactive, touching, dialogue and uh, emotion based in order to give up um, the prejudice and uh, to use the methodology of film. The Look in China project recorded the reality and uh, to use the fact to help people to understand the uh, China in the civil society and in the peoples and to use vivid stories to express the true Chinese image. And we're going to review the winners for the awards. And once again, we'd like to acknowledge the organizers and also the um, producers of the films for your trust and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Xiang Yunju. Look in China is uh, to ask the foreign youth to shoot a film of uh, 10 minutes. And with the internet, the foreign youth will tell the stories to more foreigners. First of all, we're going to present to you the best internet reach prize of uh, the fifth Look in China Golden Lenses Award. I'd like to invite to the floor Mr. Gu Guoqing from the internet communications company. Welcome. With um, the <coughs> clicks of uh, Facebook forwarding and comments, the winner of the best interreach is Balance. Apart from its artistic excellence per se, the film also owes its uh, inviolable popularity in the cyber world to the filmmaker's effort of active promotion and interaction, which has set a very good example of the successful internet reach for this year's Look in China. The best internet reach of the fifth Golden Lenses Award is Balance. Hello everyone, I'm Roberto Montebello from Italy. Last year I went to Zhuhai where I made my documentary called Balance. Thanks to all of you I got the prize for best internet reach. So I want to say thank you so much for your likes, for sharing, for commenting and uh, I appreciate it so much. Thank you again for this opportunity and experience. See you next time. See you Bye bye. Ciao. Congratulations, Balance, and I'd like to congratulate on the team from Italy. Next, I will present you the third award of uh, the Golden Lenses Award, and we're going to present them in different batches. First of all, I'd like to invite to the floor from Beijing Normal University, Professor Yu Zhen. The first 
winner for the third award set in Beijing's Hutong, the film takes a look at the painters who are closely attached to the Hutong culture and dedicated to the inheritance and promotion of Beijing culture. The film's Chinese title, Hua Jia, means to highlight both the painting skills Hua and the idea of family Jia. The film has successfully depicted the hardworking and kind Chinese people from a culturally rich and unique perspective. The third prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award, The Painter's Quest. The second winner, following the demist and continuing modern, the characters of a story appear on the screen one after another. The winkly faced Tibetan doctor, Ke Ba, the debonair director of the modern Tibetan medicine factory, and the cute and curious granddaughter. The filmmaker captured the family life of the old Tibetan doctor's family, pondering the questions of where the thousands of years old Tibetan medicine should go in the future. Tibetan medicine would not have existed without nature, so magical and mysterious is the relation between the man and nature in the world. The winner is Blessed Earth. And the third winner. Set in a small village in downtown Zhuhai, the filmmakers try to express the balance between life, nature, and philosophy through a series of Chinese cultural symbols, including Tai Chi, line dancing, tea ceremony, and also local folk customs. We get to see the filmmakers' understanding of the Chinese way of balance and of man and nature are one, viewed from its own perspective as a Westerner. The third prize of the Fifth Golden Lenses Award, Balance. Thank you. Hello, I just wanted to say thank you to the Looking China team for allowing me to take this opportunity to create my film, Lu Pong. I had such an amazing time going to China and learning about a new culture and a new place and meeting so many amazing young filmmakers. I had such a great time and will always remember this opportunity. So thank you so much for all of the help and for allowing kids all over the world to have a chance to make an amazing film. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Hannah, the director of Blessed Earth, and it's a real honor to be receiving this award. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to come to China, to be part of Looking China, to be able to experience a part of the culture and to work with amazing local Chinese producers and the people who are in our documentary as well. I'm really grateful to Connie and all of the organisers of Looking China and also to Shannon Owen and the Victorian College of the Arts. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, I'm Roberto and now you can see I'm Italian. Last year I was part of Looking China Project 2018 and I won the third prize with my documentary called Balance. I want to just say thank you to everyone. First of all, Francesco Cardinali, Rebecca, Austin Luo, Hu, and of course to my producer Mirlo. In these three weeks, um, I learned so much things about Chinese culture and tradition. So for this, I want to say thank you to everyone. Now in Italy, it's coffee time. So I will drink coffee with you. Students and teachers, good morning. More than a century ago, in his poem, Block City, Robert Louis Stevenson asked, what are we able to build with our blocks? It took only 17 days for our young Argentinian filmmaker to find his answer. In Shenzhen, Chinese people could build a city out of their blocks. How does this metropolis maintain its rapid and sustainable development? The filmmaker has Shenzhen's green buildings all explained with a strong personal narrative style. The third prize of this fifth Golden Lenses Awards are for the Concrete Needle. Hi everyone, my name is Tomas, I'm from Argentina. Thank you very much for Buenos Aires and the other side of the world. Uh, and I want to see a very good message for two parts of the First of all, I want to... Hello everyone. Uh, thank you 
you very much for this award. Uh, thank you everyone involved in, in giving it. Uh, and, and I want to share it, uh, obviously, with, with everyone who made it possible, like my partners in, in Wuhan, uh, Hu and Xiao from the Looking for China project. Um, because they taught me a lot and, and of course with the headmaster of the trip, Tony from Portugal and all my friends uh, from the other schools in Portugal and Mexico. Uh, and I want to thank uh, really everyone involved in the Looking for China project because it was a really nice discovery for, uh, for me, not only um, discovering the country, but also for discovering all these people and all these experience uh, that it was uh, wonderful, really. So, thank you very much, and I hope to see you all soon. Bye. Okay, from the French channel of CCTV, Ms. Zanin, to talk about the next. So, the fifth and the sixth, the third prize winner. And uh, with a few representatives. The film follows a few typical folks of the Xiaohua Miao people, shows their peculiar ethnic and cultural traits, and praises a loyal sense of belonging and a strong belief in our culture's inheritance. Entire Minority Glam's culture is brought to us thanks to Singaporean filmmaker's camera, who has done a great job digging into the local culture's essence. It is also touching to see his and Xiao Hua Miao people's deep concerns about their culture. So the third prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award, Children of the Butterfly. And the sixth one. And also, it is all about uh, Orodos. And also, it is a heart of the elephant with the Hu Peng, and also the combination between the people and the family and the elephant, showing the rich life of these herders. And this, the thinking out of observation of life is infused into this. The third winner is Hu Peng. Hi everyone, I'm Martin from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore and I'm so grateful for having the opportunity to participate in the Looking China program. Congratulations to all the other winners as well. I hope you continue to strive and put out more films for the world to see. I'm currently working on two new short documentaries, one based in Singapore and the other in Indonesia, and I can't wait to share them with all of you. Uh, once again, a huge thank you to everyone who made the Looking China program possible. Uh, wishing you all the best for the many years to come. And, oh, Kai Yuan, I hope you remember to bring us some snacks back this time. Hello to all my friends from China, thank you very much. Uh, bike Sporting aims to expose an unprecedented phenomenon in China, the bike sharing initiative, uh, which became so popular in so little time. But at the same time, it brought us an opportunity to explore the city of Wuhan, the capital of central China, where all of the means of transport were coming together. I am very humbled to have received this award, thank you very much. I wanted to share it with all of my friends from the city of Wuhan. Uh, I went there on my own, I didn't know anyone. And when I came back, uh, I was surrounded by a great group of friends from Mexico, Portugal, Spain, uh, Brazil, and of course China. And especially I would like to share it with Lulin and Jiqing, who helped me out throughout the entire process. They started the project and put their best into making it happen. Thank you very much to Looking China and AICCC for making the journey possible and hope to see you again sometime. The filmmakers take 
a look at the past and present of Daijia Lake's environmental control, poetically presenting the stunning beauty of Daijia Lake's ecology nowadays with the strong filmmaking skills. The film is a mature piece of work at all levels. The audience follows the eyes of the Qingshan and gets to see the new eco-friendly Wuhan and China. So the third prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award is the Eyes of Qingshan. In a humorous ways of storytelling, the filmmaker's focus is on the volunteers of shared bikes maintenance in China's past, present, fast-paced modern urban life today, showing the diversified cultural landscapes of China. Catchy score and hues, and dramatic and thoughtful narration have made this documentary distinct and intriguing auto film, and that is Bike Spotting, the third prize winner. At a man, a flock of birds, and a lifetime commitment, the Quanhan wetland of Qinghai Lake is the paradise of migratory birds. Master Zhihua, an eminent monk of Ga Yuri La Temple, has guided the migratory birds for decades and considers himself the father of the birds, giving his purest and selfless love to these little fairies above the wetland. The filmmakers had Tibetan Buddhism's views about life and nature, and the stories of the monks, Qinghai Lake, the migratory birds, all fused into one, creating a true masterpiece, showing the harmonious coexistence of man and nature. And the prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award is Father Bird. Thank you. I want to invite the director of the Father Birds from Catatonia of Spain. And he will come to the stage and we'll present him the award. And also Vice Chairman Yu Guanghua to present the awards. And the research fellow Jia Lei Lei and all the winners and the conferers, please come to the stage so we can take a good photo together. Thank you, Mr. Yu Guanghua and uh, Jia Lele. Please take your seats. And uh, so, Anders, please uh, say something. Uh, ni hao. <laughs> um, let's you Herbert. And I had to change my subject at the last minute because uh, <laughs> I had some problems, but my great producers, uh, Lean and Matty, helped me solve it. So we came up with a film, and luckily this prize is from them too, and I'm very, very happy. Um, so I would also like to thank Connie, uh, Zhang, and Shannon for being there and organizing so well. And also uh, I say hi to my new Australian, Kiwi, and. Uh, Hawaiian friends that came with me to film to Shinghai. 
And lastly, the Looking China organization for offering such a genuine opportunity to filmmakers around the world. And I think it's a priceless experience to one's career and it should continue. So, xie xie. Oh. Okay, now the best uh, artistic expression, the Swiss cultural counselor, Hao Ming, please. Great, great pleasure to present this uh, documentary, which is about the quests of three painters uh, in Beijing, different generation, different background, uh, talking about a very special place in Beijing, the Hutong, uh, about their beauty, about their poetry, but also about their present and especially the future. We often think that the Hutong are the place of the past in Beijing. They are not, they are very lively places and I can testify it, I'm living in the Hutong since the last four years. I love it, so it's a great, great pleasure to give this prize today to Emmanuel uh, Enzenberger uh, for the best artistic presentation of the fifth Golden Lenses Award. Hello. As you see, I didn't cut my hair since I was in China last year. So you're still here and you're still here, of course. Thank you very much for inviting me, for rewarding my artistic efforts. Thanks to my mentor, Azaf. You have a story, Zippor, who did a great support with us. Um, thanks to my producer, Sun Jianning, who was just an amazing producer. Well, and uh, I think I'm gonna cut my hair now, maybe another movie too, and all the best from Switzerland. Thank you and congratulations. Congratulations for winning third prize and the best artistic expression award. And also, the second prize. We actually have four winners for the second prize. Professor Kang Zhen from the Academy of uh, Literature. And actually, I'm uh, taking over this job on behalf of another distinguished uh, professor uh, who is occupied by another meeting today. So let me read through the awarding text. Poetic cinematography and exquisite imagery. old friend at the same time. So basically, this is the winner of the second prize of the fifth Golden Lances Award, Maple at Night. Congratulations to the winner. Next, second prize winner is A train, a few generations of people.
presence of the fifth Golden Lenses Award is Hidden Stories. Thank you. Hi, thank you so much for presenting me this award for my documentary, Maple at Night. Um, looking China has been one of the best experiences of my life so far, and the two weeks that I spent in Suzhou uh, was extremely beautiful and memorable, and an experience that I will never forget. And uh, I really would love to thank uh, Looking China and Beijing Normal University for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Hi, I just want to thank everybody that took part um, during last year's Looking China and thank you for the complete honor of, of earning this, this award. Um, I, I was really privileged to be able to take part of the program and, and get to know a little bit more of, of the amazing culture and country that, that China is and the people and how welcomed I felt. Um, it's still one of the most precious memories I have. So thank you ever so much and I hope I can see you again soon. Um, and get to film again in your country um, and or if you come here as well uh, I would be really fortunate. Thank you so much. Um, see you soon. Okay, next I want to invite Professor Guo Yingde from the China Association of uh, literary artists. Okay, I want to read out uh, the awarding text. The two winners of the second prizes. Focused on the... life and giving the city a kind of uh, precious warmth and the feeling of love. So the second prize winner of the fifth Hello everyone over there in Beijing. Thank you very much for the prize, the golden eye. It's a great honor for me to receive this prize and I want to thank all my friend and teacher and professor that helped me to make this film. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Alisa from the Petersburg State University of Film and Television of Russia to come to the stage to take the second prize. Ms. Alisa Pashkova to the stage. Our teachers will present the award to you and we can have group photo. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Liu and Professor Gu. Alisa, please uh, say something. Hello. <laughs> uh, first, I want to say thank you. I'm happy to get opportunity to take a part of this amazing program one more time. Last year, I had really incredible experience and it kind of changed all my life because for many factors, anyway. Uh, I want to say a big thanks for all people who 
organized and sponsored Look in China. And the most thanks I want to say for my producer, Hua Muti. She is the girl who helped me, who supported my every crazy idea, and for whom, and thanks for whom I'm staying here right now. Um, also, I want to say something for practicants. Uh, I wish you all a good luck, and this program is a great opportunity to create something really incredible, and I'm looking forward to do some new beautiful films together. Thank you. Okay. We want to present uh, the award of the best uh, cultural discovery, Mr. Huang. So this is for the best uh, cultural discovery award. So the winner of the best cultural discovery is the bike sporting. So the film focuses on China's urban bike sharing system, showing both the conveniences and the disadvantages brought about by China's urbanization and modernization, and the young people's concerns and efforts nowadays with regard to eco and environmental problems. As a cultural totem that goes through the whole film, the nine-headed bird possesses a cultural and historical significance on one hand, and uh, elucidate the environmental theme and calls up public social support on the other. So the best uh, cultural discovery award is the bike spotting. Hello to all my friends from China. Thank you very much. Uh, bike Sporting aims to expose an unprecedented phenomenon in China, the bike sharing initiative, uh, which became so popular in so little time. But at the same time, it brought us an opportunity to explore the city of Wuhan, the capital of central China, where all of the means of transport were coming together. I am very humbled to have received this award. Thank you very much. I wanted to share it with all of my friends from the city of Wuhan. Uh, I went there on my own, I didn't know anyone, and when I came back, uh, I was surrounded by a great group of friends from Mexico, Portugal, Spain, uh, Brazil, and of course China. And especially I would like to share it with Lulin and Jiqing. Hello to all my friends from China, thank you very much. Uh, bike Spotting aims to expose an unprecedented phenomenon in China, the bike sharing initiative. Oh, Congratulations. Next, we're going to present to you the first prize. First of all, I'd like to invite to the floor the first secretary of education department of uh, the Singapore Embassy, Mr. Wu Baisheng. Welcome. Now, the first prize winner. A pick at the local history through families in a short 10 minutes vi film, we see not only the wedding customs of uh, Bu Yi people in the Stone Village, their daily life and stories, but also the cross-racial and ubiquitous love of human. As an outsider, the filmmakers presented us a short documentary about traditional ethnic culture with his uh, consummate artistic skills within a week. Vivacious, sharp, smart, the film has made a successful attempt to rejuvenating the Asian folk customs. The judging panel has decided the winner of the first prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award is Stone Village. Now, I'd like to invite the director of uh, 
the student village graduated from Nanyang Technology University, Mr. Wu Baisheng. I'd like to invite to the floor from the CPC History Association, Mr. Dong Jinmin, to present the award. And also, A group photo, please. Thank you, Mr. Wu Yibing and Mr. Wu Baisheng. I'd like to ask you to take your seats, and I'd like to invite uh, Wu Kaiyan to give us some remarks. Um, I can't believe I'm back in China again. Yeah, so uh, it's an honor to be invited back uh, again. I had a great fun um, shooting the documentary um, Stone Village in Guizhou last year. So I learned so much about the culture, the people, the food. Um, yeah, so last night when we arrived, um, the first thing I had was you know, to have a nice dinner. Um, the packing duck was great. Um, but what was greater was the company, because I had dinner with my um, producer, Chang Chi, from, uh, who was my producer last year, uh, her family, and Li Yue, Lao Shi. Yeah, so what I, what I really want to say is that um, the best thing that I took away last year was um, the friendship that I've made um, in China, you know, the people that I've known. So um, that's something I really treasure, and I look forward to making um, more new friends this year. So just want to thank um, everyone who made Looking China possible. So um, the wonderful people I met in Guizhou, um, Rebecca, Yang Zhongfan Lao Shi, Mata, Li Yue Lao Shi, and of course, uh, my producer, Chang Xi. And um, just want to wish everyone all the best. Um, as we explore China together and make new friends. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Wu Kaiyuan. On a yearly basis, we invite the Golden Lenses Award winners to come back to China to I'd like to reveal the special award. I'd like to invite to the floor the China Film Culture Association Vice President, Mr. Zhang Guohua, to present the special award. Special award. Mountains stay still, and people move around. In the scenic and poetic fairy mountains in Wulong are to be found the many traditional folk handicrafts, from cave brewed vine to wax dried fabric, from root carving to leaf blowing music. The South African filmmaker has linked up all these seemingly, seemingly unrevealed, uh, unrelated folk arts and crafts and sent forth their glamorous appeal together. These mountain folks' inspirations for life, work, and artistic endeavors all derive from the mountains, which is uh, a pristine and conscious and pure connection, and as if the motionless mountains have been given a vigorous and ever-changing life. Special prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award, the winner is the Mountain Folk. The second special award winner, sorry, natural, visually and thematically compelling, the film is all about the character's diligence, honesty, and kindness. 
through the daily life of an ordinary rural family. The film has also alludes to the status quo of the ordinary Chinese people in rural regions and the impact of modernity and the communication obstacles between generations that they have to face and cope with. The winner for the special prize of the fifth Golden Lenses Award. Early summer. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Christian, and I just want to say thank you so much for this award. But beyond that, I'd like to extend my warmest gratitude to everyone who's made Looking China possible over the last few years. It really is one of those life-changing experiences that I wouldn't trade for anything in the world. I also want to say thank you, of course, to my producer Lin, who without her, this film would not even exist. And of course, our supervisors who were there every step of the way, helping us and guiding us to make something interesting and memorable. Thank you so much to everyone involved. Have a great day. Hi. First of all, I want to say thank you to Looking China for letting me come back a second time and make a second documentary film. Um, and I want to say uh, I'm honored to win this special prize for returning filmmakers. And I just want to say a big thank you to to everyone who who helped in in making this film. So thank you. Next, the best organization prize. I'd like to invite to the floor the former party secretary of Chongqing Ling Foundation. Best Organization Award, and uh, they have uh, very careful taking care of uh, the foreign youth, and uh, they have made every effort and used their actions to and professionalism to use their belief and responsibility to create the winning look in China. They integrate China into every part of life to warm the whole world. The winner for the Best Organization Award of uh, the fifth Look in Chi uh, Golden Lenses, Xinan Normal University and Beijing Normal University, Zhuhe Branch, Shenzhen University, and Central China University, Liaoning Normal University, and uh, the Youth League Guizhou, and the Suzhou University, Qinghai Normal University, Beijing Normal University, Art and Communications School, Beijing Normal University, Communications and the News Department, Erdos New Media Center, Hebei University, Tana Langkaisa. Culture and Communications Academy. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite from the Ministry of Culture, Director Zhang Xin, from Binghai Microfilm Association, Mr. Jiang Yi, from uh, Ms. Wang Yuyue from uh, Communications Company, and uh, Mr. Rong Kai. Mr. Chang Yuan Yuan and um, Professor Su Hao and uh, Ms. Zhou Yan from Peking University, Ms. Professor Li Daoxin from uh, Beijing Normal University, Professor Liang Jiu to present the Best Organization Prize. I'd like to thank you for your for all the guests. Oh, 
Thank you. I'd like to wish, congratulate all the winners, and we look forward to more Chinese stories. Okay, once again, thank you. Now we come to the third part, the launching ceremony for Looking China 2019. First of all, it is uh, the flag giving ceremony. I'd like to invite you for the representative from the Chinese youth. I'd like to invite you the floor, Professor Huang Guiling to give the flags to the youth. Thank you, Professor Huang. And also with us today on the Supreme Ceremony, we have a 34 foreign um, teachers and youth. They are going to start from the afternoon to Guangzhou, Chongqing, Sichuan for 17 days of a culture tour and their creation. Now the time is theirs. And first of all, I'd like to invite to the floor the, from the, the International Supervisor, Professor of uh, Materata University, Italy, Professor Francesco Cardinali. Good morning, everybody. First of all, it's really an honor to, for me to be here again, and I think I can speak on behalf of every foreign people here in this lecture hall, we are very grateful to Beijing Normal University, AICCC, and to the sponsor, William Foundation, for giving us the opportunity to join the Look in China project and live this uh, extraordinary experience. My name is Francesco Cardinali. My field are of work are creativity in advertising and mass communication. And I'm here a representative of University of Macerata. That is a quite special place for studying in Italy because it's the only university in our country which focuses ex exclusively in socioeconomic sciences and humanities. Uh, our university has a deep relation with China and a strong international reputation for Chinese studies. 
which are carried out by China Center and Confucius Institute that operate under the tradition of cooperation with China. A deep relation that comes from Father Matteo Ricci that here you all know with his Chinese name, Li Madu, uh, born in Macerata in 1552. He left us a great teaching, arguing that Confucianism and our Italian Latin Greek cultural roots are not opposite in, in fact, are remarkably similar to some key aspects. It's from that vision that historically came our friendship. And about friendship, I'm so lucky to be here for the third time. I would like to express our gratitude to all the people who let Look in China possible, to Professor Emeto Swan Willing, Professor John Luo, Dr. Rebecca Yang, to my Pacific coordinator Sun Sik Sun, Wu Zifei, and to Li Wei Yan, who will coordinate us this year in Chongqing. So my wish to all the best to all the students that are here, and we are ready for Look in China 2019. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd like to invite to the floor International Supervisor, the Professor of the University de, 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 de Sydney, Argentina, Professor Augustin Mendila Hazu. Good morning, everybody. My name is Agustin, as you can see there, and I come from Buenos Aires, Argentina. You know, when I was a child, a long time ago, me and all the girls and boys in my country were taught that if you dug a fantastic hole in the ground that went all the way to the center of the earth and then continued straight line, eventually your head would pop out at some place in the territory of a country called China. Every little girl and boy in Argentina knows this, and to every one of them, the word China and the word antipodes are synonyms. Sorry, I got lost. Oh. I don't know if you realize how strong this image can be to a child's mind. I grew up thinking of China as the faraway, the exotic, and the unknown. Of course, Things have changed a lot since the time when I attended school. And nowadays, Chinese people are part of the landscape of every city in my country. Nevertheless, it's still usual to hear people use the word Chinese to describe something that is very strange or very hard to decipher. You know, filmmaking is one of the most potent ways to learn about the world, to know and to show its amazing cultural diversity. I cannot exaggerate how thrilled and honored I was when I was invited to be part of Looking China as supervisor. The five fantastic students that come from my country were chosen among hundreds of students from the most prestigious film schools that were eager to attend this program. I'm sure the same thing happened to the rest of the girls and boys I will spend the next days with in Chengdu. I can only imagine what it would be, have meant to me back in the years when I was a film student to have such an incredible opportunity as this one. I would like all the girls and boys attending the program to keep this in mind and to open their eyes and their hearts. I will do my best to help every filmmaker in my group to do their best, as Professor Huang Hui Ling just asked us to do. To all the people that make Looking China possible, I would like to say congratulations for this initiative and thank you for this opportunity. I'm sure for all of us, this will be an unforgettable experience. I want to thank especially my new friend, Jackie Liu, I, Rebecca Yang and Austin Liu. And last but by no means least, 
Professor Juan Huiling and all the team. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Professor Tobias Free Morgan from International uh, Professor of uh, University of uh, Lusofana of Portugal. Hello China, hello world, hello everybody. We are very grateful to, for the invitation from I AICCC for this year's Looking China. We are the Suhai group from Portugal, from Hungary, from Russia and from Korea. We are Tobias, Joao, Igor, Joana, Margarita, Rodrigo, Daniel, Sophie, Jennifer, Gilson and Elise. As filmmakers, we believe, we believe in stories. We believe that stories save the world because in stories we can discover the world and the human beings and we can try to understand each other. Through stories we can learn to respect each other, to cooperate and to share this planet and to understand each other truly. Story are the motor for this. So let's build bridges to each other. Let's dig tunnels to each other. We want to talk face to face the more we know from each other, the better, because we need to talk with each other and not about each other. We came here hungry and curious and eager to discover. We hope for your open doors and your open hearts. See you again soon. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. Next speaker, International Participant Representative Joel Ortega Ortiz, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, members of the AICCC, members of the Huiling Foundation, Organizers and coordinators of the Looking China 2019 project, partners and fellow filmmakers. It is a great honor to be speaking to you this day on behalf of the students invited to participate in this year's edition of Looking China. First of all, I want to thank the amazing team behind the organization of such an event. Your labor of coordinating this team of more than 100 filmmakers has been astonishing. And on behalf of the filmmakers invited today, thank you for this incredible opportunity. Undoubtedly, we are all excited about this new adventure we start today, and I can guarantee we are going to enjoy our time here in China. Moments, seasons, and times are three concepts that we, as human beings, share, and I'm convinced that during these three weeks of filmmaking, we'll be able to understand each other's culture in a better way throughout the moment we all be living, throughout the time we will spend here. Moments, seasons, and times transcend every cultural barrier, and I'm sure that we all that we all here will leave China with a much more rich and different perception of your culture. On behalf of my fellow colleagues, all the filmmakers gathered here, we'll do our best to represent China's essence throughout and culture throughout our lenses. We are capable of immortalizing those moments, of capturing the seasons and sculpt China's own time throughout our films. We have an incredible opportunity at our hands. The chance of representing a culture throughout the medium, I'm sure we all love. But most importantly, it is a chance to have an exclusive glance and to learn to appreciate an entire different culture throughout our cinematic work. As the recently deceased filmmaker Agnes Varda said once, one part is conceptualizing and reordering the world. The other one is accepting it as it is. Thank you. Thank you. Now I want to invite uh, the Chinese volunteer representative Qi Jiaxuan to uh, say a few words, please. We are gathered here to celebrate the grand opening of Looking China. As one of the Chinese volunteers, I'm honored to welcome all of you as a representative. Like most of you, I'm also a freshman here, nervous but mostly excited. 
I'm looking forward to this long-awaited event as much as any one of you. We all know that the theme for this year is moments, seasons, times. Born and raised up in the city, I'm a native Beijinger to some degree. As a new generation, we grew up with the modernization of it. The more skyscrapers rising up, the elder I grew up. Season changes, time flies, but memories are seized down the bottom of our heart. As volunteers, we will provide a company along your whole stay and try our best to assist during the shooting process. Last year, I transferred to San Francisco for a semester. During the time I was there, I had a chance to cooperate and communicate with buddies from all over the world. I get a deeper comprehension on how to work with people from different cultural backgrounds. There's no need for us to see eye to eye on everything, but it is the process of group work itself which is the most important. Set out to do is not a hard thing, but to move on, it requires resistance and patience. But I believe it is not only a journey around the corner, but also a shared time that we will cherish all along the road. Record time and color of our own life. Once again, hope we will have a good time together. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, starting from this year, 100 foreign young people will come to China to go to 10 cities and provinces and autonomous regions. They will have a film production. Our Chinese teachers and students are already fully prepared to welcome all of you to their places. Yes, so time, season, and moment. So that concludes the launching ceremony of the 2019 Looking China Youth Film Project. Uh, later, we will have another Chinese cultural presentation. But I want to, of course, thank all the guests, all the leaders. Thank you so much for your support. Now, that is the end of the launching ceremony of 2019 Looking China Project and the fifth Looking China Golden Lenses Award Ceremony. Thank you so much. Hello, 
I'm very sorry. It didn't go through this morning. The internet connection didn't work. I'm very sorry. And I will upload as soon as possible, maybe this afternoon. See you.